soft transition music narrator, VO in the following sections, we will explore vertical transmission pathways, bacterial infections, viral, fungal, and parasitic infections in newborns and fetuses, as well as maternal immunization, antibiotic resistance, risk factors, diagnostics, treatment, and prevention strategies. Let's dive in. End of introduction. In neonatal and perinatal infections, the severity can vary due to factors like timing, gestational age, and immune status. Outcomes include fetal demise, prematurity, low birth weight, anomalies, and disabilities. Recognizing these outcomes is crucial for appropriate management and support. Understanding transmission and complications helps in developing preventive measures and treatment strategies for better outcomes. Screen caption, neonatal infections, beyond GBS. Narrator, VO understanding the broader range of bacterial pathogens causing neonatal infections is key for effective diagnosis and intervention. Explore epidemiology, pathogenesis, and management strategies to combat these diverse infections. Details. Unveiling Escherichia coli, Listeria monocytogenes, and different Streptococcus SPP. As common culprits, discussing their virulence factors, antimicrobial resistance, and treatment-slash-prevention strategies. Transition. Transitioning to the next section, Diagnosis and Testing for Haas Fau Infections in Newborns. Narrator, VO Fungal Infections, particularly candidiasis, present a significant challenge in neonatal and perinatal settings. Understanding the distinct clinical manifestations, diagnostic approaches, and current treatment strategies for invasive fungal diseases is crucial for improving neonatal outcomes. Details Exploring risk factors for candidiasis, discussing diagnostic methods such as blood cultures and polymerase chain reaction, and highlighting antifungal therapies and infection control practices. Transition Narrator, VO Maternal Immunization offers a promising avenue for preventing neonatal infections. Examining the impact of immunization against common pathogens during pregnancy can significantly reduce the burden of infections in the vulnerable neonatal period. Details Discussing the rationale behind maternal immunization, specific vaccines recommended during pregnancy, and evaluating the effectiveness and safety profile of maternal immunization in preventing neonatal infections. Transition Narrator VO torch infections encompass a group of pathogens that can wreak havoc on the developing fetus and newborn. Understanding the distinct clinical manifestations, diagnostic challenges, and practical management strategies for each torch pathogen is essential for improving outcomes in affected neonates. Details Providing a comprehensive overview of each torch pathogen, discussing specific clinical manifestations, diagnostic tests, treatment options, and counseling approaches for affected families. Transition Narrator, VO HIV infection during pregnancy demands a multifaceted approach to prevent vertical transmission and provide optimal care for both the mother and the infant. Evaluating prevention strategies, transmission rates, and management protocols is integral to ensuring the well-being of HIV-positive pregnant individuals and their newborns. Details Examining antiretroviral therapy regimens for pregnant individuals, discussing prevention of vertical transmission through obstetric interventions, and emphasizing the importance of multidisciplinary care in optimizing outcomes. Transition Narrator, VO The emergence of antibiotic-resistant pathogens poses a significant threat to neonates and their vulnerable immune systems. Understanding the patterns of antibiotic resistance, its implications on treatment outcomes, and implementing effective management strategies are critical in combating this global health challenge. Details Exploring common antibiotic-resistant pathogens in neonatal infections, discussing the mechanisms of resistance, antimicrobial stewardship programs, and alternate strategies such as combination therapies and prophylactic measures. Transition Narrator, VO maternal risk factors play a crucial role in determining neonatal infection rates and outcomes. Examining a comprehensive range of maternal risk factors can provide valuable insights into the prevention, early detection, and effective management of neonatal and perinatal infections. Details Discussing maternal risk factors such as premature rupture of membranes, chorioamnionitis, maternal colonization with pathogens, maternal comorbidities, and their impact on neonatal infection rates and therapeutic approaches. Transition Narrator, VO recognizing the varied clinical manifestations of neonatal and perinatal infections poses a significant challenge to healthcare providers. Understanding the nuances of diagnosis and differentiating between infectious and non-infectious etiologies is crucial for timely and accurate intervention. Details Elaborating on common clinical signs and symptoms of neonatal infections, discussing specific diagnostic approaches such as blood cultures, lumbar puncture, 
imaging techniques, and emphasizing the importance of multidisciplinary collaboration for accurate diagnosis. Transition. Narrator, VO neonatal sepsis remains a life-threatening condition in the neonatal intensive care unit, NICU. Early identification, prompt treatment, and rigorous monitoring are vital to improve sepsis-related outcomes in vulnerable neonates. Details. Exploring risk factors for neonatal sepsis, discussing appropriate diagnostic workup including blood cultures and inflammatory markers, and highlighting empiric antibiotic therapy and close observation in the NICU setting. Transition. Narrator, VO prevention is paramount in the management of neonatal and perinatal infections. Examining immunization strategies and infection control protocols provides a robust framework for reducing infection rates and improving outcomes in vulnerable neonates. Details. Discussing vaccination schedules for newborns, immunization recommendations for healthcare workers and close contacts, and emphasizing the importance of robust infection control practices in neonatal and perinatal care settings. Transition. To summarize, neonatal and perinatal infections demand thorough evaluation, effective treatment, and preventive measures. Understanding various pathogens and risk factors, and employing comprehensive management approaches will enhance neonatal outcomes and provide a promising future for these susceptible individuals.